In this episode, we'll be talking about editors and PHP syntax. So the editor that I like to use is called Sublime. You can visit sublimetext.com and you can download this editor for free for Mac or Windows. There are also a lot of other popular editors out there, which include Visual Studio Code or VS Code and the Atom editor. All of these are really good editors. It's just a matter of preference. I would say just pick one that you like and stick with it. But throughout this video, we are using the Sublime Text Editor. Let me open up the previous example that we were working with, and I'm going to analyze each piece of this code. Okay, so to start writing in PHP, we will always start with the less than sign question mark PHP. And this essentially opens up PHP and says, basically lets the application know, okay, we're writing in PHP now. So then if we wanted to echo out, say like a string like we did in the previous example, we can use the keyword echo. And we can say echo, hello world. And then every time you end a PHP statement, you need to include a semicolon. So we can say echo hello world, and then typically you'll need to close the PHP. So the cool thing about PHP is we can use all of our PHP inside of the typical HTML tags that we're used to. So let me go ahead and just create an HTML page. So we have HTML, and we have a title here. We can give this a title of my first PHP app. So then down here in the body, maybe we want to have an h1 tag. And inside here, we can actually include the hello world. So if I were to save this and we go to our local host and reload, you can now see that we get the message hello world inside of an h1 tag. And I also want to open up DevTools and show you that the only thing that is inside of the HTML is the hello world text. So if we go back to the PHP, you can see that we are echoing out this string. So whatever you do in PHP is never visible to the end user. It is run on the server side and then passed to the client. So make sure that you get to know the question mark PHP open tags and the echo command, which echoes out a string such as hello world. And then make sure that you end every single statement with a semicolon and then you'll end your PHP tags with a question mark greater than. So before I wrap up this video, I also want to show you one more thing. We have been creating an index.php file, and this index.php file is the file that gets hit every time we go to our local host, and that is set up by default. So every time we try and access a folder from a PHP server, it will first look for an index.php. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the sidebar here. And you can see that I have my folder and then the index.php. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm just going to save this as welcome.php. I want to show you an example of how we can hit another file besides the index.php. So here I'm just going to echo out welcome to PHP. Okay, so if we go back to our localhost 8000, if we reload, we still get the hello world because we're hitting the index.php file. So if we were to navigate to localhost 8000 slash welcome.php, we get the message welcome to PHP because we have hit the welcome.php file. So first you'll need to find an editor that you like to use, and then you can play around with some PHP syntax. So I'll see you in the next video where we will talk about PHP variables. Hey, thanks for checking out this PHP basics video series. Uh, I hope you follow me on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A, and if you're interested in moving on to the next video, go ahead and click right up here. And if you wanna check out my latest course called SaaS Adventure, be sure to click right there and it will teach you how to create your own profitable software as a service. But that's it for now. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.